What's up guys, my name's Aiden. I've got a ton of barefoot shoes here with me today. I spent years growing my collection, gathering the best of what the minimalist shoe industry has to offer. I'm gonna review a bunch of them with you here today. So without further ado, let me get into this first shoe. This one is the Oats Espadrille. Uh, might be Espadrilles if, if it's a Spanish word, I'm not sure. Excuse my Spanish as well. But with this shoe, um, the company actually used to be called Utsi. I don't know where the Z went now. I think it's just Oats, O-T-Z. But um, with every pair of shoes that you buy with these ones, they come with a, a pretty thick, like half an inch, three quarter thick cork insole in the shoe. Let me give you guys a good look at it. Um, so if you if you want something that's going to form to your foot over time, I think that's what the cork insole is supposed to be for. However, for me, I like it better, the, the super minimalist feel to the shoes. So I took the insole out, and if you do plan on removing the insole, uh, you will need to replace it with another insole because there's, there's not much shoe underneath that cork insole. Um, but these shoes, as you can see, they're pretty much just like Tom's, but they have more room in the toe box, right? So you could probably wear your toe spacers, which everyone should be doing, by the way. Uh, where your toe space is at the front of these shoes. So there's really not much to it. Um, let me bend them up so you can see the flexibility. I'm always waiting for somebody to do this in the shoe review videos. That's the number one number one clue to give the flexibility of the shoe. So yeah, these are just like Tom's but wider toe box. Overall, I thought the cork insole thing was a little bit weird. So I'd probably give these like a, like an 8 out of 10. We've got the Vivo Barefoot Lisbon. It's a dress shoe that we've got here. Let me give you guys a good look at it. Um, with this shoe, there's a couple downfalls that I don't like about it. One, the construction is very sturdy. Um, so much so that it, it doesn't bend like some of the other minimalist shoes bend. Um, and the other thing is that the toe box is still a little bit narrow at the top. Um, it's not as wide as, as I would like in my minimalist shoe toe boxes. I can't wear toe spacers when I'm wearing these shoes. So for those two reasons, uh, they're not my favorite dress shoe. On the plus side, they are zero drop from the heel to the toe, which I know is important for a lot of people, including myself. Um, and in addition to that, the insole is removable and it's already pretty thin to begin with. So you get some ground feel while you're wearing these shoes. Um, and there's not a ton in the dress shoe line for barefoot minimalist shoes. Uh, so I guess that being considered, they're not too bad of a shoe. Um, I know some of the other options get like $300, $350 retail, which is crazy. So I'd say since they're relatively affordable compared to some of the other ones, uh, and they do have some good things going for them, I'd probably give these like, like a 5 out of 10. Next up, we've got the Lems Mariner. Let me give you guys a good look at this one. These shoes I love. Lems is a company out of Boulder, Colorado here in the USA. I've got a few different pairs of their shoes here. This is a really great looking shoe. You can wear it at work, at home, at the, the office, at the beach, with the boys cracking a coldie, whatever you want to do. It's a really versatile shoe fashion wise. Um, it's still got the flexibility that you want from your barefoot shoes. Um, they got tons of room in the toe box. These are definitely uh, correct toes or other toe space are approved. Um, the construction is really high quality leather. The stitching is fantastic. This is just a great shoe all around. They do have a removable insole as well. I take mine out just to get a little bit better ground feel. And the sole on it is actually maybe a little bit thicker than I would like, um, but constructed very well. So for these shoes, just due to the fact that the, the outsole is a little bit thicker than I like, I still give them a 9 out of a 10. It's a really good shoe. Next up, we've got the Soft Star Hawthorne Chuka. Um, this, I think, is probably the best looking dress shoe that I have as far as minimalist shoes. Um, the leather is super high quality. Uh, it's just soft as butter on your foot. It's Again, you can roll the shoe up, you can twist it. These are a really flexible shoe. The, the only thing that I don't like is that the toe box is a little bit tapered on these. I don't think I could wear correct toes or toe spacers with these. Um, I know there is a specification when you order these on the website. You can choose how wide you order the shoe. I got mine secondhand, so I'm not exactly sure the width on these. 
but I have heard that on, on several other different blogs or reviews that the toe box is a little bit slimmer than people would like. Um, that being said, the outsole is still pretty thin. You get a good ground feel in these. Uh, and it's just a really good looking shoe overall. I really like these. So for these ones as well, uh, I give these a 9 out of 10. The next one I've got here is the Lems Corduroy Chuka. Um, and this one is a relatively new release. I really like it. It's a great looking shoe, again, both for work or for casual wear. It's got the wide space in the toe box, just like I like. You can still bend it up, you can twist it, and it's a fantastic looking shoe. I really, I don't have any complaints with this one, honestly. Uh, the Mariner, I did want a little bit thinner insole to wear like at the beach or you know something like that but with these it's more of a sturdily constructed shoe it's not really meant for the ultimate ultimate ground feel or anything like that so for that reason I really like these shoes it's a great looking shoe um, I give these ones a 10 out of 10 okay up here behind me I've got the Lems boulder boot and this is the brown leather version of it uh, these ones I've had for quite a while, I think for two winters already, and oh my, I cannot say enough good things about the shoe. It's got the flannel lining on the inside, so they're super warm in the winter. Uh, I've gone hiking in these through knee-deep snow, and I'm still good for a couple hours at least before I start to feel the cold. Um, again, they're still super flexible, you can twist them and bend them, do whatever you want to them. It's a fantastic shoe, they got the space in the toe box, you can wear your toe spacers, zero drop. Uh, and they look great. It's a good looking shoe. I've had so many compliments throughout the years of people asking me where I got these boots from. So these ones too, really awesome shoe. I give it a 10 out of 10. This one that I've got here is the Merrill Vapor Glove 4 3D. Um, and this is a really awesome shoe. I wanted to get one that was more like the sock fit. I know that there's some of them that do like like total socks like Skinner's footwear or there's the freer feet socks from Switzerland um, but these ones as far as shoe goes they're more of a sock fit uh, it fits in it real nice around the ankle these have tons of space in the toe box I think the Merrells probably of all the shoes have the most space in the toe box so if you're like me and you really love having space in the toe box then the Merrell Vapor Gloves are a great shoe this one you can bend it up it's super flexible just like the rest of them um, you can lace them up nice and tight so they fit on your foot. The uh, ground feel on these is incredible. The outsole is a uh, Vibram outsole, so the rubber is durable, but the, on the inside there's a little bit of padding, but it's almost nothing. This shoe has one of the best ground feels out of all the shoes that I have here. So for that reason, uh, I think that the, actually the only drawback I could probably think of these is that the look of them doesn't look great with pants or jeans it's mostly like an athletic thing so you might not wear it to a more formal function or something like that um, but as far as the feel and the function of the shoe I think they're great so for those reasons I'm gonna give these uh, 8 out of 10 I've got the Merrill Vapor Glove 3 and this is the version that came out before the previous ones that I just showed you. Um, again, they're very similar to the 4, except they have a, a more conventional lacing style on the front. Still have tons of room in the toe box. Uh, you can definitely wear correct toes or any other spaces with these. The ground feel on these, again, is fantastic. I think that the 3 is even a little bit more minimal than the 4. I don't, I don't actually measure the, the millimeters, the stack height or anything like that, but the 3 is a little bit more minimal for the 4 minimal than the four so if you're looking for that ultimate ultimate ground feel um, on your running shoes your training shoes this is a good one and I think these ones look even a little bit better with pants you know or with jeans because they got the you know normal lace-up system so for that reason I think that these are fantastic I, I'm gonna give these ones a 9 out of 10 
This that I've got right here is the Zero Z-Trek sandal. Um, I actually just got these today and I was wearing them out earlier today and I gotta say I love them. I've never worn a minimalist pair of sandals before uh, but it's fantastic. As you can see they're super thin. It's almost like having just like a, a piece of paper under your foot while you're walking around uh, but that you won't get stabbed through. It's still sturdy enough so you, so you don't get cut by rocks or anything like that. Um, all the straps on it are adjustable. It's, it's pretty much just like one long strap. There's the Z that you see there and then the, the heel strap as well. Um, super wide at the front as you can see they give space for your toes. I even did wear my toe spacers today with the sandals. Um, super flexible as well. Like you can roll them up, you can do everything. Uh, so they're fantastic as far as sandals go. Granted, they are the first pair of minimalist sandals that I own, but I already love them. So I'm going to give these a 10 out of 10. No barefoot shoe review is complete without your Vibram 5 fingers. The one that I've got here in front of me is the V Alpha. Um, and I, this one is great. I ordered a, a size 43 European. It was a little bit snug, but I felt like they did stretch out to my foot over time as I was wearing them. Um, of course, these are like the ultimate minimalist experience. It doesn't get less than this. It's basically like having the minimalist sole all the way around your foot. These are fantastic. Um, I went with the black on black to keep a little bit lower profile. I know some people think toe shoes are weird or goofy. Um, and I don't want to be judged while I'm out in public, so I got the black on black. But as far as minimalist shoes go, these are fantastic. I really want to get another pair of Vibram Five Fingers because I love these so much. Uh, I know that these came with the uh, the kind of like the drawstring lace where you just pull it and then you Velcro it to it. I didn't really like that. I don't think it got tight enough on my foot, so I just cut the strap and I lace them up like regular shoes but I can't say enough good things about the Vibram Five Fingers. I really love them, so I give these shoes a 10 out of 10. Here I've got a pair of New Balance Minimus shoes. Now, with these ones, uh, this is probably one of my better looking pairs of minimalist shoes. I can wear them out and nobody suspects a thing. Right, some of them you could tell that something is going on, but with these, it's a really good looking pair of shoes. you still got the flexibility that you want from your barefoot shoes. Um, it's got the Vibram outsole. The only complaint I have with these is the toe box. As you can see, um, the toe box is a little bit tapered. I also do have a pair of New Balance New Sky, which are made out of recycled paper. I don't have them here with me today, but it's a similar story where the toe box is a little bit more tapered than I would prefer. Um, with a pair of shoes like this, I'm not able to wear my toe spacers, however, the sole is super minimal, I get a great ground feel, um, they're flexible, and they're one of the better looking pairs of barefoot shoes, so, so you don't really have to feel <laughs> weird or embarrassed if you wear them out in public, and hopefully your wife won't make fun of you either. So, for the reasons of they're really great looking, they're flexible, great ground feel, uh, the only drawback is a toe box. I'm going to give these ones an 8 out of 10. What I've got here is the Nike Free 5.0 Flyknit. Now, as you can see, there's some funny stuff going on with this shoe. And trust me, I'm well aware. Uh, but I thought that since this is one of the uh, better attempts that the mainstream shoe companies have made at, at a minimalist type of shoe. I thought I would buy some and, and check them out. I got them for pretty cheap on eBay, so it was worth a shot. Um, as far as the flexibility, they're fantastic. They're pretty flexible, just like I like. As you can see, it does have, uh, I mean, the sole isn't even flat from heel to toe, but if I pull it flat, you can see that it's not zero drop. It drops off probably four or five millimeters from the heel to the toe which is not fantastic, um, but again, Nike meant well, <laughs> they did their best. Uh, the thing that I do like about these shoes is it is a, a sock light fit, sort of like the Vapor Glove 4 3Ds, and I do like the, the sock feel on the, on the foot. Um, and as far as mainstream companies go, they do have quite a bit of room in the toe box. Um, I think this is a borderline can wear, sometimes can't wear the correct toes or the toe spacers with the Nike Freeze. Um, 
so yeah, it's, I'm kind of on the fence about that. I'm not sure. I've, I've done it a couple times. Sometimes it's comfortable, sometimes it's not. Uh, but these ones, the toe spring I don't like either. Uh, it's a little weird, I know. It's not biomechanically advantageous to have your toes pointed up in the air like this at rest. But if you train your feet enough, you can counteract that force and kind of keep them flat when you're walking around. Um, but it is Nike. It is a pretty good looking shoe. I like it for training and they do look good with pants too. I can wear them casually. So as far as mainstream companies go, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good shot. They took a pretty good shot. Uh, I'm going to give this shoe overall like a 7 out of 10. The last shoe that I've got here with me is the Tadivo Derby. Uh, it's a it's a dress shoe, as you can see. I'll let you get a good look at it. Um, really good looking shoe and surprisingly light and flexible. As you can see, I can roll it up. I can twist it around. Uh, and it's it's strange to see shoes that look like this doing that, but it can. It's fantastic. Um, and on the on the Heel to toe, there's zero drop, just like I know a lot of people, including myself, like. And the toe box as well is definitely wide enough to wear correct toes or toe spacers inside of it. Um, it's a really good looking pair of shoes. I only had brown dress shoes and I needed to get a black pair as well. Uh, I'm a fashion leader after all, so I, I couldn't, be, couldn't be stagnant, couldn't be one dimensional. So I had to get a pair of these. I didn't know much about the company. It's a lesser known company. but. Seeing this shoe here, um, I really do like the way that they look and the way that they feel on my feet. I, I can't really think of any drawbacks. They might be... No, I can't even think of any drawbacks. Uh, I think the only, the only um, thing that I had to get over with these shoes was the way that the midsole kind of comes and wraps around the toe up here in the front. I'm not sure if you guys can uh, see that on the camera, but that was the only weird thing for me. Other than that, it's a well-built shoe. It has fantastic ground feel. Um, I think the insoles might even be removable, although I haven't done that yet. Uh, but yeah, I give this shoe overall, I give it an 8 out of 10. That's my review of the Barefoot Shoes. Um, hopefully you learned a little something today about your favorite companies or maybe some companies that you didn't know about yet. Uh, I really love the Barefoot Shoe movement and everything all the health benefits and obviously you can still look cool while you're doing it as well. Um, so that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video.